Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading. Just gonna pull from the Wild Unknown Alchemy deck first. This is gonna be your next 48 hours. So it's the energies, whoa, that we're reading for your next. Wow. The uh, Aries, it, it is literally Aries, just it is spelled different. <laughs> it is a different word. But I mean, that is pretty cool. Copper, copper came out. And it is number 23. 23. Oh, I always relate Page of Pentacle with 23. Um, like a new investment, a new adventure. But this also has to do... Yeah, Venus. There we go. Can't believe I didn't uh, remember that. Love, pleasure, and fertility. Those are the mysteries of the energy that copper can bring in love fertility so the womb venus and i also i mean it's pleasure it's pleasure um nice okay so mm, it marks the arrival of arrow in your life aries okay so that means a love is coming into your life or some kind of love that brings a great amount of pleasure so i don't know i also have like um a love for salty foods and so <laughs> maybe we could say like maybe you're chocolate right I just don't do sweets but something pleasurable like that can come into your life too but whatever it is it's marking the arrival of it and you don't just say that I mean think of when you say oh it's it's arrival will be if you, that's ever in a sentence it's something big right all right so it's big so it's big. Let's see what else we get. For Aries, next 48 hour. Let's see what else you got good for, for Aries. Oh, my soul is wanting to come out. Yes. Yes, yes. Beautiful, the starfish. It is like there is some unpar unparalleled, unequal beauty compared to you this is either the beauty of this situation that is going to arrive or this is talking about your beauty the word stunning comes to mind with the starfish um standing out among the rest just it, it to me it feels like inner and outer beauty just the whole form of the starfish beautiful So, I mean, this can be about, like, getting recognized for your beauty. Tiger. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. By the way, I forgot to say the signs. Um, just don't get hung up on signs because we all have all signs. Just most of us have almost all <laughs> in our houses. So, um, you're going to have attributes of many. This is divine uh, feminine energy for Leo, Aries, and Sag with the tiger. When it comes out, and especially the way that it's coming out, there's there's a need to like uh, trust in yourself a little bit more with something here, Aries. I'm not really sure what it is, but it has to do with your intuition and, and what like the high priestess in you. would would come to the conclusion of <laughs> so it is about being brave it is about being courageous the tiger it's also this feels to me a little bit territorial but with it coming out in the reverse it's like is there something that you need to claim is there a part of territory that you need to claim that's what i would say and and something about listening to your intuition about it the tarantula is on the bottom beautiful card about being at crossroads and uh soul purpose hmm like coming into a major crossroads in your life where something's going to enter it's going to be pleasurable but it's also like a big part is your uh soul purpose i'm going to put that right like that because i really do want to keep the tarantula there Tarantula, starfish, copper, and tiger. Okay, what do we have for Aries? Give me something from the Kipper, Kipper deck. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we're in there with this. Marriage in the reverse or commitment in the reverse. Oh, okay. There may be something that you have lost confidence in working out as far as a commitment or bond is concerned. May have lost confidence in, in it. Or something is um, changing, ending so that something begins. That's how it usually is, right? A new beginning. Child card is, is the new beginning or it is um, maybe talking about an actual child too. Hmm. Main female. New beginning, main female, child. What else? Message of concern. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is unexpected income. So that's always nice to have some unexpected income arrive, right? Let's use uh, the siren song. There is wealth. This can be the, the ch changing of a contract. I'm going to get clarification from Tarot on that uh, marriage card in the reverse. Okay, I have the siren. This is you. In, the, um, in this deck, and excuse my nails, by the way, they kind of look really rough, but the siren is um, you in this deck. It's supposed to be you. So the siren's coming out kind of like that. Another uh, letter. You have message of concern, and you have letter. It's a good thing is what I'm getting. It's a good thing. This is a good thing. Whatever this letter, whatever this message of concern is, there's a feeling of her looking into the past or down too much that I'm getting. So, like the expression says, you know, lift your chin up, raise your head up, and and not not to dwell on the past that that can lead to sadness and it leads can lead to not uh living in the present moment where you could possibly miss something for yourself hmm birds putting in more effort <clears throat> might help because upright, this is a, about putting in the effort that it's going to take. Also, I think of messages. So again, like what are what are people saying? What what are something like that? Um, because that those messages are what needs to get to you. The arrival of Eros. Those cards. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, wow. So you have a very benevolent person here as the good gentleman. Um, this person is somebody that has, I feel like that has concern Um, and, and has good intentions. And then you have the mediator in between the fish and the fox. The fox is uh, clever. <laughs> clever. The, the fox sometimes gets into some mischief. So <laughs> it can also be that. But the, the thing with the fox is it's not the snake. 
it's not the snake it is the 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 one that um maybe is mischievous but really not not out to actual actually harm harm the mediator here could be this could be like a lawyer energy or somebody that is like a go-between this person who is benevolent who is good has access to a lot of wealth and wealth resources with the fish card coming out meaning that there is something about sharing some access for you maybe to help maybe to help with this mediator and it, it might be you know they literally have mediators for um some child custody cases so it could, it could be something like that but this energy is good and wants to help and has plenty of resources to do so oh wow wow it is the arrival of Eros. We've got the two, the two of cups in the world. It's a new chapter for you. It's a new chapter. If you want it, whoop. If you want it, I don't know why those fell out like that. I'm gonna put them back in, but I am gonna look at them for you. The Knight of Swords, <laughs> Jesus, really. The Knight, I'm sorry if that offended anybody. The Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacle. No, I'm not putting them back in. This is great. <laughs> and the sun. Wow. Wow. The sun is happiness. It is the happiest card in the deck, pretty much. This is also enlightenment, happiness. And I said Page of Pentacles was what I associate with the number 23. There you go. Page of Pentacles. This is the new investment. This is the new pathway. This is the new, this is the arrival of Eros, of love, pleasure, and fertility in your life. There's change that will come, that has to come, obviously, to go on to something new. There's got to be change. And the Wheel of Fortune is like, yeah, you're, you're literally, you're, you're about to realize, um, how lucky you are how powerful you are and especially if you're one of those people that has really not lost the faith after going through what most would lose faith about so the goal the reward for like not losing hope is that something great arrives in your life And quick the knight of swords is quick uh, I see how the knight of swords is kind of looking at the Fox so maybe this is about not only being determined and focused to like seize the day but don't forget to use your mind like it's a swords energy so it's it's gonna be swift it, it may be about incoming communication to or ideas that really speed something up. The Wheel of Fortune and the Sun, oh my goodness. Those are two really, 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 really good energies. I can't say enough. So Spirit, go ahead and give us um, clar <laughs> clarification on marriage. I don't know what is up there with your... This is a situation that is changing because of one, how trapped and confined you must feel truthfully you probably are putting your own limits on yourself through anxiety or a fear of, of moving feeling like oh i can't do this because of that and i can't do that because of this so those things can keep you bound restricted or constricted and i so that's what's clarifying that your energy is coming out so strong though before i can even ask the question they're popping out so what's the letter what is the letter? The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Somebody that needs help or that wants to help with some kind of success. Wants to make something a little bit more even, more fair. The letter might be about like an off-balance situation there. The Hangman might be talking about something that has been put off for a little while that needs that's like no more waiting right no more waiting so the letter might be like no more waiting 
Cupid's arrow, Queen of Wands, time to put yourself back out there. You are attracting everything that you want. And, and there you go. There's the communication. And there's everything speeding up. It's going to make something even that... Um, it felt like it wasn't it wasn't equal so it's going to make something better okay maybe it's going to make that better five of pentacle knight of wands so the five of pentacle is coming right out over the the mediator too it's touching the fish and the fox so there, there might be about this uh, influence of affluence and ex access to resources that can really pull you out of a difficult time with the Five of Pentacles, the Mediator. I don't. I'm getting feeling like um, somebody to go between because someone needs help. Tell me more about Five of Pentacles. This can be a, a worry, a health worry or concern also. There's a need to put your boundaries up. Don't let somebody or just anybody run over, run over you or try to lie to you. It's time to release the past and any kind of like shadiness that is associated with it. This is about finding your true north and turning that queen of swords energy around so what that's going to take is a lot of thought of what what are what are the thoughts that are keeping us in a lack consciousness because the, now that can represent lying cheating stealing something like that um yeah but i i think this is about releasing your hold onto lack consciousness releasing it like not identifying with that not even identifying with it queen of cups taking really good care of yourself putting all your love into self-love is probably what's bringing this into your life yeah the moment when everything feels like not magical it's gonna <laughs> that's when it's like it will all come in hmm. So take really good care of yourself, health, and um, love yourself. The Queen of Cups. Yep, this is the card that means put that cup to yourself. Love yourself. That's going to attract everything that you're wanting. Mm -hmm. Here, and stand firm in, in your own energy with the Emperor. Um, your strategy, whatever it is once you assert yourself and just go for it with especially with the strategy being take care of yourself self-love the best that you can first that's going to help you move out of any um lack feeling that is keeping you feeling stuck so uh undecided on a decision at this moment might have to do with the leo or finding confidence you don't want to be overconfident but you do want to move past a stalemate or a block and the good thing is is you're visualizing you're visualizing what it is that you're wanting to see possibly after some kind of disappointment that you maybe have had um tell me more about the self-love and moving um Oh, watch how you can watch uh, communication. Watch how we're communicating. At a crossroads. At a crossroads. This is going to serve as your contrast. You'll be at a crossroads. This will be, your, again, tarantula crossroads. And then the crossroads card. Also, number 22. Now, now that's coming out. Why does that keep coming out? This good gent energy. It's like somebody wants to help you in a situation where there was lying, cheating, or stealing. Theft card is coming out now, too. Or it can be somebody that's coming in good, benevolently, <laughs> wanting to steal some affection. It can be like that. Cross in the reverse. Putting something to an end, ending a situation, ending a situation, 
so that, and that's going to be the crossroads then? Is that the crossroads? There's some. It is the, the mountain to overcome, and yes, it will be overcome. Like, you'll get over it. It's the obstacle, and you will get over that. Oh, yeah. And be known for it. Look, stars. This is fame, notoriety, um, recognition. To me, I think of fate, destiny with the stars. Wow. And, yeah, there's something in your in your destiny where you hold the key you hold the key and you'll know more when you have some kind of decision or choice to make at a crossroads okay so that's what i've got for you guys look if you felt like this resonated and you want your private reading then contact me in the description box below is my website you can either book it there or you can just contact me via email and that's listed down there too so I hope you have a wonderful next few days. Sending you love and light. Bye, Aries.